He's a real character. He's got real personality. He's a very nice man. You opened the door of the staff room and you walked in and you knew straight away that, that, that this was not a, a, a normal place. Because there were some interesting characters in the staff room at that time. But one person stood out and that was this, this, this bearded chap. He, he takes care of people and he played that role in the staff room that he made people feel good and looked after them when they were having a hard time. Um, there was a time um, uh, in the late Jurassic when he, he temporarily didn't work here. But since then, through the Cretaceous and up, up to, to Theresa and Quaternary times, he seems to have worked here um, probably since time began, if not before. And he always argued with me that we should continue to make Rotherham a place which wasn't just about learning and results and exams, but was a place where people could develop other interests outside the classroom and, and away from the school. And he believed really passionately in that. So things like DOV and Activities Week and Cow Shop, he believed that you could learn as much there as you could in the classroom. What I remember most, I suppose, about Mr Edwards was his ability in meetings I made many of these, to start talking about something absolutely off the wall, something you had no idea what he was going to say, and he'd go on and on and on for maybe 10 minutes, and people would look at him in utter confusion until finally, if you stayed with it long enough, you'd actually see what he was on about. And it took him a bit of time, like a huge cruise ship just sort of sailing into berth and the dock the wrong way around, but once he turned the ship round, you kind of got what he was on about. So that's what I remember most about him. His amazing strategy of talking utter nonsense in meetings. He often made you want to go and find something out or to do something for yourself. Well, I think I think more than anything else, he, he brought he, he, panache. You know, some teachers walk to school, like me. Some teachers drive in a very normal car to school, but only one teacher roared up that drive in a flashy sports car and owns, you know, when I think of somebody owning a boat, I kind of think about a rowing boat, something you might go fishing on, something with a hole in it, a couple of oars. So, you no, know, Mr. Edwards has, has a yacht, a posh yacht, with that. So long, in fact, that it probably takes you a couple of weeks to walk from the front to the back of it. So I'm told. That is posh. So you've brought a certain class, a certain sort of style, a certain je ne sais quoi. Well, I think it's part of Mr. Edwards' character. We, we often used to tease him about taking it off and shaving it off, but to be honest, he just wouldn't be Mr. Edwards without a beard, would it? So here he is. Here's my instant Mr. Edwards beard. It's rather than one word, let's just have it in one image. Here is Mr. Edwards. He knew the local area better than any of us. So if we ever wanted to know anything about you know, the local area or local people, Mr. Edwards knew. We had talked to Mr. Edwards and I always felt it was like um, it was like being, being in some sort of time warp because you start talking to Mr. Edwards about something at say five to four and you'd have things you'd have got to do but suddenly, don't know how it happened, it would suddenly be sort of quarter past eight and whatever you had to do, there's no point in doing it because you'd missed it, whatever problems you had you'd forgotten them so long ago in the conversation that well they weren't any problem anymore, you'd walk away with a completely um, empty head uh, and four hours would have gone past like that. So he was a time lord. Okay, the other thing about Mr. Edwards sometimes is that he can take the contrary view on purpose. And sometimes that made managing meetings quite difficult, but they were always interesting. Yeah. 
if you if you can imagine the school like like a like, like a great big living tree and, and it's got some of these very um, it's very old established arms as a bit like having one of them cut off the place isn't the same you take somebody who's so much part of Robra out of Robra and, and put them out to to grass I suppose in the, the great big retirement field of life uh, the school isn't the same definitely not the same so you know we we've lost and that's had one of us gained He did a lot of stuff before I came here uh, with outdoor pursuits. He did a lot of mountaineering, canoeing, that kind of thing. Um, and although he did get involved in those things when I, when he, when I was here, I think he did a lot more um, you know, in previous years. Perhaps his presence and his large beard anchored Robber and stopped it perhaps drifting because maybe, maybe Robber would have drifted. Um, geologically, had he not been here for so long to root it. I think he's worked here for about 32, 33 years, and I've only been here for eight years, so he worked there for 25 years before me. I've seen pictures of, of Mr. Edwards when he was young, and you'd think that, you know, you look at baby pictures of somebody, they'd look a bit different, but he didn't. Uh, I, 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 as a six month old, his beard was probably just out to there. But I, as he grew, uh, the beard stayed with him. I've never seen a picture. One of, one of the things we'd like to do, perhaps, and perhaps only after he's long gone, could some sort of medical examiner, some forensic lab possibly do it, is, is find out if he's got a chin. Because no one's ever seen it. It's, it's like, you know, it's like a, um, parts of the universe are still undiscovered. Has he got a chin? Don't know. The one thing I can tell you about his beard. Is it used to be black? But I can see how young people who've been inspired of it by him might think him a, a kind of hero. You meet people and they say, Who do you remember from school? Oh, people have been left school 15 years ago. They always go, Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember Edwards. And surely the whole point of school and teachers is to have characters you remember. You know, otherwise what's the point? And I think to, to, to hundreds if not thousands of people who went through Robra during the time he was here, he was a hero and a character. And that's what education needs. He was a hero and a character. He is a kind of hero.